fabulous foundations for the price of less than $50 and three easy payments. We just gave you your choice of mattified bronzers and medium or deep. And now the next best question you might ask yourself, blush. Blush. A lot of different blush. Uh, so we have two color choices, I believe, to choose from in the back from the vault. I love when it's back from the vault. The ba Ooh. Yeah, because they're hard to get. Okay, so you have two color, you're actually gonna get a set of two, but then two choices, and you get the brush as well. This is golden apricot, so yes. who's that for? Honestly, these go either way. Nice. I'm not gonna tell you to. You Wait, you don't have to make a choice of this. You get one of each. Perfect, yeah, okay. And they go, it just depends. Do you wanna have Perfect. a more bronzy apricot look, or do you want a beautiful pink? Where do you see the pink on? All right, so the pink is called Malibu. Look. How amazing. And Laura is famous for her blushes. Just so you know, Laura is considered the blush authority in the house because the way she bakes her colors, they always look like they emanate from the skin because they're these, mm -hmm. they start their lives as creams and then they're baked down to the most beautiful, um, rich, dense pigment that look like the blush is emanating from your skin rather than just sitting on the surface of your skin. And that is so important because I think you ask any gal of any age right now. Yeah. She doesn't really want to look like she's wearing makeup. She wants to look like, oh my gosh, she's just so lucky. She's genetically gifted. See, yeah, and you blush, know? you know what? Blush should just make you look healthy. It should make you look uh, youthful. It should give you a little bit of a lift. I am going to use the um, golden apricot, and I'd love to see because you look so good in pinks and, and plums. Thanks. You do. So I'm brush, by the way, retractable, so you can make it as taut or as fluffy as you like. By the way, this is so soft. It's soft. It's really soft. So soft. I know. She gives a good brush. All so right. what I love about these is so many women do skip blush, and I skip blush. It's, if mm -hmm. I have to skip any makeup, I'm going to skip blush. Yeah, That's sure. I skip. But, especially in building an old Hollywood face, to have a, an old Hollywood face, but like a vintage classic look, yeah. you have to have something to the skin. Because we're not, guess what? We're not doing highlighter with this. Right. The highlighter is the beautiful soft skin. Mm -hmm. So what you want is lift and a little bit of sculpting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sculpt, but I'm also going to give lift to the face. So I'm gonna use my blush up high, so I'm going, see, hi. Okay, I'm following along from with you. From here, from the top of the cheekbone up to the temple. Perfect. And I love this color because it's a bronze with a peach with a berry and a gold in it. I mean, you can't beat that kind of color. So, you see how that is there? And you have the pink. Yes. Oh, it's so the pink. Pretty. I love it so And I much. like because your blushes are dimensional. Like again, if you are that person that, okay, you're teaching me how to use the blush, what do you mean highlighter? There's an effervescence, like almost an ethereal quality built into this blush that you get the look of light, you get the look of warmth, all with great pigment, which I think is so important. There's a sheen to it. And that's yeah. what Laura does so well, is the sheen. Okay, so I went from here up. now. In today's kind of beauty environment, blush is being worn very, and I'm gonna put it up here, blush is being worn very high. Um, they didn't wear it this high back in the real super golden uh, golden age of Hollywood. It's cool. But it, it's, it lifts and it makes it very fresh and modern to yeah. lift the face up, because think about it. it we're totally not doing does. eyes. And I think it's interesting that you're lifting with blush and yes. not with highlighter. That's what a good blush like this does. And I love the pink on you so much. Like, I'm loving the pink. Well, and you know what's really nice is the pink is really buildable, because I thought for sure, like, as soon as I, because I'll tell you, you don't need a lot of this. I mean, watch me swirl, and I mean, a lot goes on the brush. So I thought for sure, like, am I gonna have to tap? But I mean, you'll see, even as I continue building on, it's very forgiving color. Oh, yeah. That again, even if it's just a quick dusting before you get out the door, it works. It works. Now, I just put a little tiny bit too close, so I'm just gonna, um, because I didn't want it directly under the eye, I wanted it a little further back. So I'm just gonna take the, the concealer because it's so easy to play and work with and clean up that little spot there. Perfect. So the thing about this look, mm -hmm. that pink is rock solid. I'm on so your glad skin. you get two blushes, because I'll yeah. tell you, like, it's a little bit intimidating when you walk into a store and there is a row of blushes and you're like, what mm. what do I do? Yeah. yeah. And the fact that you're getting two here tonight, I mean, you get the Balibu pink, you also get the golden apricot. It really sets you up for success. Like, is one dressier than the other, would no, you say? No, one is no. bolder. 
One is bolder. Yeah, like I would say that the Malibu is a lot bolder, and that's yeah. why I like that on you. Thank you. But the golden apricot, look how soft that is. Yeah. It's just a flush, and then I did it up high. And again, you can mix. I could make this a much pinker cheek, but I don't. I wanted to keep the look very classic. Yes. So you can play with them, and the idea with Laura is that the way these are baked, when they come out of the oven, they're this soft, creamy texture that leaves a wash of luminosity. So if you get up close on this, take a look at those colors. There's a berry, there's a gold, there's a coral. Look at that. And when you put it on, they blend together and they give you this, this three-dimensional color Mm -hmm. That just makes you look so lifted. With that pink on you, I can't. It looks so beautiful. Well, okay, so I just put a little bit of pink in my eye, like on top of my existing eyeshadow. Can you use this as eyeshadow? Like Absolutely. I know Classic Hollywood is a very clean eye, but I feel like with that golden apricot, like it would give you, you like that soft kind of glow Absolutely on the lid. Absolutely you could. Absolutely right. you could. So Excellent. you can use it on the eyes. You can use it really, I mean, kind of all over, but I like to put it up high and up by the temples to give it lift. Okay, so I just grabbed your golden apricot and I am loving the way that that looks on my skin. I, I mean, love these two. And Laura can't- It's they're, juicy. They're, they're juicy, they're beautiful, they're luminous. They bring your skin to Ooh. life. And they're so popular, like women love these. They're hard to the get, pink. that's why they call them back from the vault because they're not always easy to get. Well, and that's one of those things too that when you think about your entire career, like with Laura Geller for here for 20 years, it's like out of all the things that people want more of, like you think about all the amazing foundations, yeah. the concealers, that's the Malibu, by the way. They Healthy. want more blush. They want more blush. Well, she's known for her blush. Like literally, that is her thing. You know, like yes, blush. the foundation, and she's known for complexion, but her blushes, you can't beat them. They look so soft and luminous, but they pop off your skin, but they look like your skin. And mm -hmm. that's what, especially with a classic, beautiful look, you want it to look like your skin. We're not trying to do something heavy and editorial here. What we're trying to do is a glowing, beautiful skin that's not over illuminated. We're going to do a powerful lip, a lot of lash, so the blush is very important. You get both of them. How it's not a choice they, of. The bottom one is that golden apricot. Uh, the top one is going to be the Malibu pink. So they're on op opposites on my hand. But I just wanted you to kind of see the color payoff and just how beautiful and glowy and dewy these are. You also get the retractable brush, as you see right here. $35.52. And by the way, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. But this is the winner, the Customer Choice Beauty Award winner for Best Blush on their sister yes. channel, QVC. Yes. And that's that's a huge award. because. Women. Again, Love it. You think about all the prestigious beauty that we carry, and this is your favorite blush. So definitely worth checking out, especially with those two easy payments as well. It is a two eight five five two five. We're moving on to our next part of our classic Hollywood so excited. look. Because while we kept the eyes clean, that means it is all about our lashes. So you are getting two of the Lash Boss Mascara, which are gonna help lengthen and volumize and curl your lashes. This should be $48, but while you shop on Beauty IQ is you get to bring this duo home for less than $30 at a featured price, which is wonderful tonight. Now, why is it at Old Hollywood, they like, it was like a classic line dye yes. and then lashes. And lashes for days, lashes, lashes, lashes. Because it was very, um, you know what? It was considered very, very feminine mm -hmm. to have these big, beautiful, fluffy lashes. It wasn't about tons and tons of eyeshadow, and I love that look, so we're gonna pay homage to it. And Lash Boss, I love for it, because Lash Boss, we say be the boss of your own lashes, mm -hmm. because it's got two different sides. It has short bristles, and that that is amazing for depositing the color, making them thick, and then it has long bristles, which stretch those lashes and make them long and fluttery. It's also got a triple wax blend, which wraps the lash, wait till you see. I mean, I can't, I'm gonna start demoing in a minute. Um, it adheres to them and holds them, and the lashes, it stretches them and then holds them, and they become massively long and curled back. It also has collagen in it, so your lashes appear a lot thicker. It, Right? Are you seeing this? We got to we got to get a zoom in on this real quick, Jordan. I'm I just put it on my bottom talking. lash right here. It's crazy. Like, look at the lash difference between the one on the outside. Like, you can't even see my lashes on this side, but yet on the bottom only. Look at all that definition. 
And it's just the bottom lashes. Yeah, it is. Like I put falsies there. It's an unbelievable mascara because it gives you all this power. It gives you all this length and thickness and conditioning of the lash, but it's never, never, oh, close to lash. 